who's driving the whole pig thing? Is it, is it the girls? Is it you that wants the pig, or is it, how has that all worked? No. Um, me. It's you. It was my birthday <laughs> present. We actually talked about having another child and then decided we'd get a pig. <laughs> if you've got two kids, how hard can a pig be? <laughs> I'm in my hometown of Newcastle to catch up with the folks, but to also call in a family who have asked for a bit of help before they bring a new pet into the house. Now, this new pet, it's not a dog, it's not a cat, it's not a bird, it's not even a guinea pig. It's a pig. Now, pigs are all the rage at the moment, but they can be a lot more work than people think. So I want to call in and see these guys and see if they really know what they're getting themselves into. The Black household is already home to Michelle and Kieran, their two daughters Eve and Heidi, two chooks and Ned the dog. Are you excited about the pig? Yeah. Have you guys chosen a name yet? Petal. 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 My one fear with pigs whenever I hear that someone's getting one is that, geez, do you really know what's involved? Because pigs, they're not simple creatures. They're, they're <laughs> no, complicated. No. They're, they're so incredibly intelligent, so incredibly active, sometimes incredibly demanding. You do get these pet crazes from time to time, and right now, it's pigs. I get asked all the time, what's a pig like? Should I get a pig? Would a pig suit me? And the reality is, a pig only suits certain types of people, because they're hard work. So who's driving the whole pig thing? Is it, is it the girls? Is it you that wants the pig, or is it, how has that all worked? No. Um, me. It's you. It was my birthday yeah. present. We actually talked about having another child and then decided we'd get a pig. <laughs> if you've got two kids, how hard can a pig be? <laughs> I want that one. So what do you think? I want that one. Chris has brought an iPad full of mini pig info to educate the family before they commit to a new addition. There's no such thing as a mini pig in Australia. We don't have teacup pigs, we don't have pot belly pigs here. We've only got pigs. The way we get the small ones is just by breeding the smaller versions of the standard pig. If you are feeding them pig food or a whole lot of basically whatever they want to have that's high in protein or high in fat, then they are going to grow to be quite large. I've seen mini pigs that have been 150 kilos. I don't want to see you guys all of a sudden get stuck in a situation where you have this monster pig when you thought it was going to be tiny. Where do you think this pig is going to live? Uh, I think it can come inside, but I think it will sleep outside. You have a doggy door? Yes. Is, that, is the pig going to use that as well? Until it can't fit. <laughs> I was just going to say, can I have a look at it? Yeah. Knowing how pigs think, there's going to be a day when all of a sudden the pig can't fit through anymore, but that's not going to matter. <laughs> he may just make the door bigger himself. <laughs> I guess that's why I'm here, is because I've seen pigs that are, are just incredibly destructive, that try to overrun people's lives, try to, to dominate every part of their life. Really? Yeah. Pigs are incredibly headstrong, and once they have their mind focused on doing something, they'll make sure they do it. I'm guessing that's the pantry there, right? Yes. So my rule is if you can get your foot in there and start playing with the doors like this, mm. then they can as well. I wasn't aware of the pantry. <laughs> The thought of it tearing the kitchen apart <laughs> to find a snack probably is a bit of an eye opener. If they can't get into it, that's when they get frustrated and they'll start to really bash into things or, or chew on the little little handles or. Right. <laughs> mm. The phrase pig headed, that exists for a reason. Your living space quickly becomes theirs. That's not something I'd thought about. <laughs> mm. Mm. I want to show Dr. Chris where the house is. Chris is in Newcastle inspecting Michelle's house to make sure she's ready for the challenges of owning a mini pig. Who's this? That's Dumchook. D dumb who? Dumchook? Yeah, the other one over there is Smart Chook. <laughs> the mini pig will have to fit in with Michelle's chooks, two rowdy kids, Heidi and Eve, and their dog, Ned. Ned's looking a little bit put out already. <laughs> this is pretty good. Mummy made it. Because normally, Mummy, Within a week of having a pig, that's how your lawn looks. <laughs> so let's just check this out. What do you think Petal's going to like about being in there? Because it's nice. cosy. It's cosy? That's the other thing, they're incredibly sensitive to cold. Yeah. When you're hearing about the digging, the pig-headedness, mm -hmm. are you being put off yet at all? 
No, no. I think it'll be good. Yeah. I think it'll be fun. I mean, the chooks are messy and noisy, and I love it. I love the yard. Yeah. Honey, stop! Trust me, chickens digging in the yard is like someone digging with a toothpick compared really? to what a pig is going to do. You know what, I actually do worry that I'm sounding a bit negative, but I've seen so many people burnt before. People with pigs, they just can't control. Would you like to come with us to get our pig? You're inviting me? To help choose the pig? Yeah? Is this an official invitation? Yes, most definitely. I would love to. I want to see this. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Crystal. Hi, Michelle. Michelle, nice to meet you. And this is Eve. Hello, Eve. Very shy, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the day has come for Michelle, Heidi and Eve to select their new mini pig. So how many do we have to choose from? You've got six to choose from. Six, huh? They've asked Chris to provide some expert guidance. A wrong decision could cause chaos for this family. Well, do the piggies want to be patted? That's the they thing. They will run away. I don't blame them. I wish I could run away sometimes. My original plan was to stand back, let the kids and Michelle get in there, get to know the piglets, in a nice, calm, controlled way. The poor pigs, look at them. <laughs> oh. What I didn't do was tell them how to act around the piglets. Ah, okay. Softly. Uh, Heidi, Heidi. So Heidi. 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 Heidi, remember they're babies. Heidi's invented a new sport, piglet chasey. She's very good at it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 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 We're definitely not getting that one. That was too loud. <laughs> when I first met you guys, I thought the same thing. <laughs> the family's pig selection has so far proven disastrous, so Chris will need to intervene. It's a hard decision, right? But it's an important one. Is the little brown one there? Is that pretty quiet? Very quiet. You want to know it's a brown one? Yes. The great thing about these moments is discovering who chooses who. Do the kids choose a piglet? Be very gentle because she's just a baby. Or is the piglet to find the kids? Oh, hello. Do you think she'll be happy with us? Have you noticed how quiet she is right now? The piggies love me. Do they love you? Piggies love you. <laughs> yeah, I think I fell in love. <laughs> Who needs another baby? She seems very gentle. I think that's a good match because I think she's got the uh, personality to get away in her quiet area when she needs to, away from the kids. Can you sense what's happening here? You're about to go home with these guys. And I want to know how you feel about that. You're relaxed. He's talking to a pig. Yeah, I'm talking to a pig. He is talking to a pig. We're having a very pig. important discussion. He is talking to a pig. Are we okay? Are we all on board here? Yes, Dr. Chris. Because <laughs> you can have a say in this, you know? Piggy home back. You need to realise that, you know, you're not going to get a lot of rest. In the end, it wasn't so much a case of the family choosing the pig, but rather the pig choosing the family, because if she was willing to sit through poking, prodding, she deserves this. So, Pedal, you can do who's whatever you want. Is the pedal really going to be OK? I think so. I think so. Sure? I hope so. <laughs> the chance to see how pedal settles in, I'm not missing that. Come on, let me stretch your legs. Oh. Now meet your new daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Petal has now arrived at her new home and is meeting Michelle's husband, Kieran, and Ned the dog. Hi. Ned sees this as being his home his family, and all of a sudden, something's just arrived that he doesn't know. So just remember, when you give Petal some attention, make sure you give Ned some attention first. And that way he'll know that, hey, he's still important. What I think is probably the best plan now, I think we get Ned outside. 
to, to give Pat a little bit of space. Yep. Sorry, Ned. It's not a sign of things to come. Don't take it personally. This is the first big test for the petal experiment. Ned is not happy. The little pig is already causing disharmony amongst the menagerie. Ned's finding this a little bit hard to do. It's those little things that can really trip you up. And in Petal's case, it was the floorboards. Slippery. Hello. She just needs some time to work out, OK, who are these people? What's that dog doing? Who are the chickens? And where am I? Little by little, Petal is becoming more familiar with her new home. Perhaps too familiar. We talked about the pantry and not... Not in the pantry. Five minutes in. <laughs> Look who found the pantry. Ow. <laughs> Even though she's young, that nose of hers still works. She sniffed out the food and she went straight there. Petal's had a huge first day. Pigs her age do like to be somewhere nice and dark and quiet and feel like they're hidden. Mm -hmm. Now she faces her ultimate test, her first night in her new home. Would you like to say good night? Good night. Yeah. The great unknown right now is whether I get a phone call tonight. You look at Michelle though, she's raised Heidi, she's raised Eve, she shouldn't be flustered. But a pig, first night at home, could do anything. <coughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet pedal. Hello? Who's that? Good morning. <laughs> Dr. Chris is here. <laughs> I had my phone by the bed all night. I didn't hear a thing, so... It all went pretty well. Oh, OK. Yeah. Chris has popped in to see the Black family and check on Petal's first night at home. It's a bit of mess, a bit of food, and she spilled a water, but other than that, she was very well behaved. So yeah. it's all gone very well. The mini pig has made a promising start, but it will take time to adjust to a family of two small kids, two chooks and a dog. Ned's very keen to give her a good sniff all over and she's not really ready for that yet. <laughs> Seriously, what happened last night? What happened to the party, the crazy nights, bad toilet behaviour, all those things we talked about? What are your first impressions of the family? What's that? A bit noisy. Really? Pedal's lying. <laughs> is this the pig pen's first test? Yes, yeah, yeah it is. Looks pretty excited about it, doesn't she? <laughs> Look at all that dirt she can play. This will essentially become her haven, her oasis, where she can come in here, ferret around in the dirt, and feel like a pig. For a toddler to go straight to the veggies is a, is a miracle in itself. I'll say. I've never seen it. <laughs> Michelle has to feed Petal a quarter of a cup of grains a quarter of a cup of veggies twice a day. If you want to keep a mini pig mini, then there are a couple of dietary no-nos you have to be very careful with. So no bananas, no avocado, and no meat. They're weirdly bonding, aren't right they? Okay. <laughs> All right. Playtime's over, Petal. <laughs> Ready? Petal, he's having a bath. Gentle, gentle. It's just like a little pat, but with a sponge. Isn't that great, Petal? <laughs> no pig likes to be clean. <laughs> There's a lot of adjustments needed, but Chris is still concerned about the relationship between Petal and Ned. Looks like Petal's going to make the first move. <laughs> really, Neddy? <laughs> Bossing you around, little man. We probably should have expected this, that but all of a sudden she would get a confidence. And now, there's no stopping her. She's a bossy little thing. No, 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 my Neddy. <laughs> 
Fortunately, the long-suffering Ned has decided to give this stranger a second chance. We're getting there. I think Pedal's going to settle in with the family. I think Ned and Pedal are going to get on fine. I think it's going to work out. The next few months are going to be fascinating. It's going to be an interesting ride. I'm going to take this as my cue to go. Bye, Dr Chris. See you later. Thanks for helping. Hi, I'm Dr Kate. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content. And if you love Bondi Vet, go and support us by checking out Bondi Pet Marketplace at bondipet.com. You'll find a whole range of great Aussie pet products and services. We can't wait to see you there.